Good morning everybody and welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna be making this super nice winter slash Christmas DIY garland. Um, it was really easy and affordable. You can do it alone or with your friends or family, with your boyfriends, husbands, whatever, girlfriends, <laughs> whoever you want to do it with. Look how amazing it looks. It's such a Christmassy, like, cozy vibe in here. Every time I turn it on, I never want to turn it off. <laughs> it gives this room so much character and such a nice, cozy and uh, Christmassy vibe. I never want to leave home when it's on. It's just so pretty and ah, makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. And uh, we're going to do a lot of DIY projects here on this channel in the future. So if you're interested in that, be sure to give me a follow and a thumbs up if you like it. And tag me on Instagram so I can see your creations. I'm really excited to see how yours turned out if you do them. And um, I'll say, let's start. So now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need some snow spray if you want to do it a little like frosty garland. You're gonna need the garland of course. Um, I bought these hooks also so I could hang the garland up but actually um, we used a, a tape. Uh, I bought this little bow band to make the small bows that I put in the garland. You're gonna see later. And I bought some little baubles with a wire on them, which made it really easy to attach them to the garland. Then I also bought these little um, LED lights. Uh, they are actually four meters long and they were only 130 from Pepco. And from Pepco I also got these little like berries, I guess. Um, one in silver and one in white. And uh, the garland was only about 15 euros. Um, the baubles were about 150 each, the wire was I think like 2 years or something and um, overall I think this garland was under 30 euros. And uh, even though it's so affordable it's gonna look amazing in the end you're gonna see. And uh, yeah, we just fluffed the garland a little up and then we started putting the snow spray on it. We did it outside because it can be quite a mess to be honest, but you can also do it in the bathroom if you don't have a place to do it outside. That works also very well. But make sure there's appropriate ventilation just because of the fumes. And I used also hairspray to uh, make the snow spray stick a bit better and you have to let it dry for a little bit. I think uh, we let it dry for about one to two hours, but you can definitely do it longer. But be prepared that some of the snow will fall off anyway. Um, then we actually attached some of these baubles already. And uh, we also put the LED lights inside of the garland. We used two packs of LED lights. Um, each was four meters long. And uh, yeah, we wrapped it like quite tightly into the garland so it would shine really really bright and we got the lights from Pepco and actually they look really really nice I think. What do you think? So we hung the garland up by using these hooks and also tape and then I also already started putting the berries inside. I frosted one berry twig but I went um, with the other berry twigs unfrosted but as you can see, a lot of the snow fell already off from the garland, so be prepared to clean up afterwards. But I think it's worth it. It looks so cute and frosty. Here I switched the lights off just to show you how it looks when it is a little darker. So these little pine cones I did not include in the beginning because I still had them at home. Um, I don't actually remember where I got them from. I got them a couple of years ago. But I'm pretty sure you can find similar ones um, just about anywhere. Or just buy regular like uh, pine cones and glitter them up with some glue spray and glitter. I think it would look amazing too. And what I did was basically just wrap this right wire that I showed you in the beginning around them uh, and after I wired them together I just stuck them into the um, garland like I did with the berries. I 
I absolutely love how the um, blue bubbles uh, go together with the white and the silver berries. I absolutely love these colors. And um, for me anyway, this garland is more like a winter garland. I didn't commit fully to decorating for Christmas yet. So this is more of a winter decoration, but I absolutely love it. And here you can see the little bows I tied and I just stuck the wire in there. Like I just pierced it through basically. Um, I thought this um, mm -hmm. band looks really, really cute actually. And I also just actually like stuck them in there. So I didn't tie them in there or anything. And look how it turned out also with this winter wonderland decoration in the front. I absolutely love it. But wait till you see it with the lights out. It's so magical. And of course, this is just some guidance. You can use whatever you want in your garland. If you want to use like a lot of colors or anything, I'm sure that will look great too. This is just my winter style, but I absolutely love it. This here reminds me of the Nutcracker so much, this scenery. It looks so magical and I absolutely love the Nutcracker if you didn't know. It's one of my like greatest passions during the Christmas time. I always love to watch it, the ballets and listen to the music and just wow. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.